Hey everybody, I'm here with Jamie. He's going to tell you about his channel and his no-built SUV car camper. Hi, I'm Jamie, Lower Michigan Adventures, and this right here is my 2018 Chevy Equinox no-build SUV car camper. So right here is my power station area. I have the Jackery 240. What the Jackery 240 actually does is runs my backlight for filming inside the car camper. It also uh, charges up all my small devices and uh, can possibly run an electric blanket for the night, which sometimes we've done. This right here is the EcoFlow Delta 2. Now this thing runs just about anything I need in the car camper. It's basically what I use for cooking. I got a little headlamp right here, the Milwaukee. I've got good name. All, good name. Yeah, this I actually got two of those. They're a really good uh, headlamp. And of course, everybody has seen this on my channel, the Stoke Voltix. How Jewel. long does it take to get water hot? Uh, depends on if you want it scolding hot or do you want to make coffee. 30 Just seconds. 30 seconds. It wow. seems like it's lightning fast. I mean, if you put like eight ounces in this and, and turn it on within 30, 45 seconds, you got drinkable coffee. You know, I don't like coffee scolding hot, so it, it works pretty good. What's that it? little thing right there by your headlamp? That, yeah. This right here? Yeah. This right here is a little light. Oh, cool. And it also is a bug zapper. That's USB? Yeah, that's USB charge right there. All right. So that works pretty cool. This right here is my temperature gauge. As you can see today, it's about 55 degrees inside the car camper. So I want to say we've had the back open. It's probably closer to 50. We've got right here hanging bear, bear mace. Never right. have too much bear spray. Yeah, I mean, I go, I go camping in the wilderness, so uh, there's times where it's a good idea to definitely have a bear spray. We also, you never know when nature's calling right. and you're in the car. Got to have one of them. And because I do, I do cook inside the car. I do have a fire extinguisher. I got some different cups right you here. You could live in this thing. Pretty much, you yeah. probably could. Uh, maybe a few more little upgrades to this and you could get by if need be. I mean, times are hard right now. So, I'm gonna slide back. Right here, this is like the ultimate little uh, pan for cooking stews or stuff like that. I can literally use this pan right here and cook right here and not worry about the bottom getting hot. D-E-Z-I-N, Dezen? Dezen. Okay. Let's go with Dezen, because that sounds okay. about right. Okay. I got a little Black & Decker uh, toaster oven. I like making like fish inside the car. People are like, why would you cook fish in the car? I like fish. So I cook fish and fries and stuff and do it right in here inside the car. Uh, Sometimes, uh, right now, I'm not bringing my uh, little tote. I'll have, like, my uh, Keurig machine. Sometimes I'll do the coffee. Uh, right in here, we have, I've got, like, my melatonin for sleeping. I've got instant coffee up in here. Uh, pocket knife. We have pot holder. I've got right here, I've got a little. Oh yeah, that's cool. Little set for cooking. You never know when you're gonna need some. Deodorant? Deodorant, yeah, yeah you're always gonna need some deodorant. What uh, what type of mattress do you sleep on? This right here is just the old uh, Coleman uh, cot. And that's uh, comfortable for well, you? Well, it's okay. I actually got a new mattress coming that's a memory foam that's a four inch. I do have the air mattress by Haytrip and that's not too bad as far as comfort wise. The only thing I don't like is blowing it up and taking it down, blowing it up. I want right. something that I can just use, just throw in and use or just keep in and use and don't have to worry about 
Uh, but yeah, the little hay trip is actually a pretty nice little air mattress if you if you don't mind the, you know. But I don't. What's not, in that brown? Is that your sleeping bag? Uh, this right here is the sleeping bag. I have one sleeping bag up here, which is, uh, uh, I think this one's like a 30 degree, real comfortable. So I actually put this down and get inside of it. It poofs right up. So okay. it gives you a lot of extra padding. Okay. I also got this additional sleeping pad or sleeping bag, excuse me. And this is like a zero degree. Now, as, as small as this is, I mean, it's plenty big enough. Um, as small as this is, I bet you it, it kind of holds the heat pretty good. Yeah, it does. So uh, it's best to kind of roll in kind of late if you're going to camp during the nighttime. So, yeah, during the daytime temperature, it can get 100 degrees in here. So, I mean, if it's like 75, you definitely want the windows open and maybe a canopy, you know, so so that it's more reasonable. And you mentioned using a uh, electric blanket? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can run it either off this or the Jackaroo. We even run the low wattage one for, you know, if you turn it on, get it, get it, keep it down on low. It'll run for several hours just on the jackery. And with your window, you can black your windows yeah, out? Yeah, I've got window. Yeah. The window shades are actually underneath the mattress right here. So okay. I've got window shades to block everything out. out. Uh, also, what was I going to say? I got some something neat in here I kind of wanted to show you. And this is my ferro rod. Oh, that is neat. And this was made in Michigan by Shalisa Shell. Okay. So this is a neat little ferro rod. I don't think you'll see another one like this. I also got somewhere in here. I don't know. I got the striker in here somewhere. So oh. this is this is a fat wood striker. So you go like this. All right. Like that. And this is epoxy resin, and inside this epoxy resin is mushroom, morel mushroom, pine cone, uh, oak leaf, I think, some fat wood. It's just a neat, neat You piece. better not let Joe from out Joe's Outdoor Place no, get a hold of that. No. You won't have it very long. No, if Joe yeah. finds out I got this, he's going to yeah. be like, where's mine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might come up missing. Yeah, it yeah. definitely might come up missing. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really neat. I've seen some videos of you. You and the missus slept in this the other day, and you both looked like you had plenty of room. And this right here, I, I, I got a lot of stuff in here. I mean, this is full. I mean, we got tea in here. I got a citrus vanilla candle. We've got... We don't have to worry about mosquitoes tonight, no, that's for sure. No, it's too... We got... The, this actually is flint and this come from down in ohio and this is a striker so okay i've got ways and i got charcoal cloth down here somewhere in this mess down here too so i've got ways of starting fire other than using a lighter so i mean i'm kind of like an old bush crafting guy so i got all kinds of stuff and you know you get down by the water you want to have the mosquitoes mosquito are really bad yeah. i got a mosquito net we also got an additional uh, head or additional lantern. This is a lantern, and also the life straw. This is a hydro blue. Okay. It's a water emergency filter. straw. Yeah. yeah. So we always keep stuff like that. I've got other ways of starting uh, running little. It's just full of all kinds of stuff. We got a fire starter right here. But anyways, let me show you my little, uh, now this is kind of, I'm missing some things right here, but this is a neat little spice thingamabob. We got basil for cooking. If I want to make tacos, I got taco seasoning. We got some rosemary for chicken, sea salt. So if we're doing some cooking tonight, we need some spices. I got spices. And generally, what I got up here is shooters. Now, I'm a little bit low right now on shooters because I've been doing a lot of videos right now lately. So I only have one shooter left. And normally, this is full of shooters. I have like 
I have one or two here and there when I'm out camping. Okay. And did you see my hack up there? Yeah. So you hang this in your in your trunk attach or trunk closer here, and it shuts your light off and saves your battery. Right. Okay. But do your research if you ever decide to do that. It works on this Chevy Equinox. It may or may not work on your vehicle, so do some research. But it is a hack, and what happens is it tricks. It pretends like it's the latch, and it tricks it the car sensor to make it think that it's closed. That it's closed. Yeah. And, and save, now with it's a battery pop, saver. Yeah. So it's yeah. a ba battery saver. So now with a power hatch, there's. A total another way of doing it so definitely do your research. What do you have up here today? You have some type of uh, rain uh, rain cover? Yeah this is this is basically just a little this is basically just a little uh, Ozark trail canopy. Okay. And I just kind of just throw it over the car so that way, if I get out that side, I don't get wet if it's because it looked like it was going to rain today. Good idea. So, and we actually got this ain't going nowhere because it's we got these huge spikes. Okay. To hold it in place, so it's not going nowhere. That way, I can get in and out of this door right here, and I can put my boots right here. Okay. Slip in and out, so it makes it really convenient, and all this fits in the car, no problem. Yeah, you could live in this thing. And I, I actually got more stuff in here. We just haven't showed you. I've got stuff under here. There's just so much. There's space to do things. You just got to get creative when you have small space. Okay. So. Well, you know, we've been here today with Jamie of Lower Michigan Adventures in his no-build SUV car camper. Yes. And, and you can actually join. I got a hashtag. It's hashtag no build suv car camper join that hashtag i want to see what your no build is show me your no build you'll go on my list yeah and you can drop a comment and and let me know what your no build is yeah, yeah. we'd love to hear from you yeah and i will surely let him know now look look where bella ended up and bella's being really good now she's she got is. her she has her training color on today because i want to make sure she's extra special good being around start and I am so proud of her. And you said I all you gotta so do is proud. put her up put it on her and she mines really yeah, well. Yeah, she mines really yeah. well. And yeah. uh Yeah, you did and she loves camping.